I don't feel like anybody's obligated to talk about that kind of stuff unless they want to. I don't feel like everybody should try to be like Kendrick or, you know, talk about political things just to try to stand out. They don't have to try to be like ASAP, talk about drugs and clothes and girls and I talk about other cool things, right? Other than that. Religion, religion and stuff. You know, you guys don't have to, it, do, it doesn't have to be, it, we don't have to know. So I don't justify cops just killing kids. That's so messed up, man, because there are guilty cops out there. There are cops who, you know, they, they take advantage with their authority, but that's been going on. That's nothing new. Why now? Why, why are we glorifying it now? Why are we making a big spectrum out, out of it now? What, what are we really hiding? And if we're going to talk about that, let's talk about the black people killing black people. So if nobody wants to talk about that, neither black on black crime. So one cop shoots a black person. Let's, 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 let's march. Let's protest. Let's promote our mixtapes on TV. Let's, let's do all that. You know what I mean? Because that's what they're doing. I feel like if you're not going to really talk about the main topic, don't talk about it at all. We have to do something first. And it's within us eternally. Like we can't internally. We can't blame. And on top of that, I didn't go to any marches. I didn't go to any protests. So for me, I can't speak on it because I'm not helping to change it. And I, don't, I didn't figure out a way to do it through my art. If I felt like it was something that I wanted to talk about, I would have spoke about it. But I don't feel like it's, I have a need to. You could just look on the internet and see it 24-7. And my manager, Chase, he... Woody, check it out and check it out. So listen, now I've always been one to say, man, hey, there's a particular issue that came up. There's Baltimore going on. We have Ferguson. We need to hear what these entertainers are saying. What are their thoughts? But more and more, we realize that first of all, a lot of these entertainers just aren't deep enough. They're spewing a lot of nonsensical fuckery on their songs. They're rapping about drugs and bitches and killing people. We probably don't need to hear their opinion. They're walking hypocrites, right? But some rappers, they're conscious enough that we would probably value their opinions, especially when they make an album or they make a project that's kind of talking that pro-black shit, right? Right? As fans, we want to hear probably the opinion of like Kendrick, J. Cole, right? Now, as I said, other rappers could chime in, but a lot of times they don't know how to articulate themselves, or if they do, they come off as very hypocritical, or sometimes you just say, what the fuck are they talking about? Now, we have ASAP Rocky, the self-proclaimed pretty motherfucker. He's actually chiming in, and he's chiming in on this whole police brutality thing. Now, let's be clear. The thing with black people, and I've acknowledged this way back, okay? When you speak on issues pertaining to the black social movements of today or black social issues, if you ain't reciting the party line, which is usually pretty simple, fuck cops or black lives matter or probably something simple as hands up, don't shoot, if you get anything deeper where you're actually analyzing, breaking down a situation from all different facets and actually focusing on more things than usually that what one particular slogan focuses on, you're probably, they tell you to get the fuck on out of here. Like, hey, we don't need you. Okay, now ASAP Rocky might have just done that. Okay, he spoke at Oxford University and a few quotes are causing people to look at him crazy. Because they also looked at Kendrick Lamar a little bit crazy too because a few months in the magazine, he also made some comments and people were like, wait, wait, Kendrick, I thought you were pro-black now. What are you talking about? You're pointing the finger at us. We're pointing the finger that way. Come on, pointing the finger that way. Now, we don't have audio yet of the speech. We probably will soon, but we're getting excerpts of the transcript from Complex. Thank you, Complex. Okay, now let me read what he said. And he said this at a speech, as I said, at Oxford University. He said this. Not everybody should be like Kendrick or talk about political things just to stand out. Also, not everybody should be like ASAP Mob and talk about drugs and girls and clothes. We don't all have to talk about the same topics. He then went on further to say, right? He said, why are we exploiting the beef between the urban community and the police force when 60 people got shot on a Friday and Saturday? And he was talking about July holiday weekend in 2014, a year ago. In Chicago, in black on black crime. So, one cop shoots a black person? That kind of shit is inevitable. 
not to glorify it, but that's nothing new. Let's talk about the black on black crime. If you're not going to talk about the main topic, then don't talk about it at all. Now, that didn't fly too well with anybody, okay? People are looking at ASAP Rocky like, nigga, I knew you was on some bullshit from back then when you were dating like Igloo Australia, okay? Now, a lot of people are coming down on ASAP Rocky. Where do I stand on the matter? I kind of stand in the middle, like with most things. Listen, usually life is not one person's completely right, one person's completely wrong. Usually, it's a little bit of both. Now, here's the thing. I agree with ASAP Rocky and I disagree. You can have both issues, and this is my whole thing, you can have both issues on the table. Police brutality is a thing. Black on black crime is a thing. Doesn't mean if we're focusing on one, we can't focus on the other. Doesn't mean that. Now, ASAP Rocky kind of implies, listen, let's stop focusing on the police brutality. Let's focus on the black on black crime. Then you have the, the whole Black Lives Matter campaign. They're saying, we're going to just conveniently ignore the black on black crime. Let's focus on all these cops who are killing people and we're getting it on video now. The problem here is nobody wants to address both issues at the same time. The people are either on one side or the other. That's why we keep getting fucked up. Now, you know what I mean? Listen, what I do is we're going to talk about any time a big police brutality issue comes up, but we got to be talking about there's 60 people getting shot in fucking Chirac every goddamn day. Now, as I said, people usually are fueled by some type of agenda which would not encourage them to kind of see both sides. It would make more sense for them. And listen, a lot of this shit is financial, financially motivated, okay? If you're pushing a narrative, you're not going to show something that would show anti that narrative or not even be parallel with that narrative at all. So I kind of understand. And not to mention, I mean, a lot of people, they're right now, they're keyboard activists, okay? Everyone, they have this whole stance. They really believe and they say, fuck the police or they feel one particular way, but nobody does anything. A lot of people right now, right? Everybody, it seems, it looks like they're militant. It's like a false sense of militancy. A lot of talk, no action. People saying this should happen, this should happen. They cheerlead other people on, but they're not doing shit, right? When you see somebody actually do shit, then everybody kind of backs away, right? The, the one guy, he goes to New York, he kills two cops. Everyone's like, ah, I don't know about that. People talking about George Zimmerman. Somebody should kill George Zimmerman. Did anybody step up? Nope. <laughs> exactly. You know what I mean? Somebody's talking about uh, this particular guy who just got caught, the racist, and he's militant, though, but he's really doing it. Everybody else is just kind of quiet, but it's really part of the narrative, man. A lot of people are going to get mad at ASAP Rocky. The bad thing about what's going on now is that you can't have a good conversation, right? If you have a good conversation, if you mention black-on-black -black crime when people are talking now about police brutality, you're now considered like you're a sellout. So people don't even want to hear you, so it makes a conversation impossible to have. And because of that, we're never going to get anywhere. We're going to go in a circle and stay in the same spot over and over again. There is no way to fix it. So I love when people are like, yo, how do we fix it? You can't fix it. It's been a cycle that's been continuing. And when you have people constantly going against each other, you never get anywhere. So it's a cycle that constantly evolves and, and changes faces. But does it ever get fixed? Does it ever come to a spot or a point where it stops? No, it never will. So it just keeps continuing. And for people who realize that, they realize that this is how you profit. And there's people profiting on one side and some profiting on the other. And that's just what it is. It's going to be like that forever and ever. And the people in the middle, they're the sheep that just needs direction. <laughs> that's it. It's your boy DJ Academics. Get in the comment box. Make sure you guys like, definitely subscribe. There was a lot of truth in what ASAP Rocky said, but it's not the whole statement. You can't only focus on one thing. You can't shift the focus. You have to focus on everything at the same time. Doesn't mean because we're focusing on issues that have to do with black America. We can't focus on fucking ISIS. We can't focus on what's going on in Haiti. That We can't focus on other issues that are currently affecting not only black Americans, but everyone in general. So get in the comment box. Make sure you guys like, man. Definitely subscribe to your boy DJ Academics. What do you think? Is he a sellout or not? I'm out.